Okay, so I'm assuming that Hello. you have seen our video about how to construct a breath, and the way it's, your breath works is essentially the yeah. same all the time, right? Yeah. To set up. I mean, sometimes uh, I have to say this is especially for sopranos. Once I get to the high A, there's a kind of a different setup for that mm -hmm. and above, but um, for all intents and purposes, the construction of the breath is the same. Mm -hmm. Think about the fifth rib. I breathe low keeping everything nice and expanded. So with that in mind, we are talking about how to access your top range. And when I um, did a little Instagram post about using coloratura, uh, using staccato, pardon me, to access the top range, a lot of you wrote and said, what does that mean? So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of that today with one of my favorite exercises for accessing the top range. And so um, because I haven't sung a whole bunch today, I'll start a bit lower and um, then I'll show you how I use the staccato to open up my top. So I'm just gonna start on a, a low D. Um, this is an octave, uh, one, one more than an octave, so it's a ninth, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a uh, ba 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 You wanna, yeah. yeah. I wanna see it with you. Oh, ah. oh. Okay, yeah. so that's in the middle range. So the construction stays the same. Um, I think it's important that we say, when you want to sing high notes, especially as a soprano, I think we want to avoid this shape. We don't want to see spreading. We want a more of an oval shape. Would you say that's fair? Yes. I, I'm, I'm guilty of doing this sometimes, think, depending on the vowel. I think the only time, once you start talking about if it's going to go wide at all, is generally in, at least when, in general, is when it's in the extreme high. Then, yeah, then that's right. When I, when I have but to. But in general, yeah, yeah absolutely. If I'm going to say a C sharp, or D, or an E flat, mm -hmm. why would that happen? Um, <laughs> no, but I, you know, then, yeah. then the more, yeah. So, but that's a different comfort. Yes. Yeah. So this exercise, da 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 it's, it's one of my favorites for accessing your top because it keeps your vocal cords very slim. You're moving air all the time, you're not getting locked. And when you're trying to find the top, I think that that's one of the most important things that you never you never stay uh, sort of locked in one position. I used to have a problem uh, because I didn't understand how all of this worked, that I would get very um, collapsed and locked at the same time, which is just death. Mm -hmm. So anyway, going back to this exercise, I'll take it a little bit higher, so I'm gonna get my G now. high for me I don't have to open this up a ton I'm not thinking about you'll see a lot of people lifting here I don't need to lift here yet for that G it's not high enough um, the lift can you explain a bit what that does because when you see people doing this it's for your palate and yeah the, one of the things that this particular thing does is a lot of people will lift just kind of like this I don't do that until about an A but what you actually want to do is you lift all the way around. It's about this this whole thing. Yes. So when you see people who, who do it well, um, it looks looks like it's part of. It looks like it's part of the thing, but it's also yeah. it's not just like that right there. That's me just kind of flaring my nostrils. But yeah. if I were into the whole thing, yeah, it it, it it includes all of this because then it it works with the entire palate back here yeah. as opposed to just. That that actually closes you down yes. if you just lift there. Yeah. It, it collapses you. So yeah. So I mean, if I'm talking about using staccato to find that high range note, obviously I have, I have this worked out now finally in my voice. Um, but before, I couldn't really sustain. You know, I couldn't go. I couldn't sustain that. So um, I thought, well, what? I know I can get. I can at least reach the notes. What I used to do is go and see how many times I could repeat it without putting weight in the voice. Obviously that's a very, it's, that's not a real dramatic sound there, but so I was trying to just find like where, where in the chords, where in the palette, where is this resonating, how does this work? And eventually once the placement, I don't like using that word, but anyway, the placement became more, more consistent, then I could focus on sustaining the tone. But I couldn't do it until I understood where is it resonating? You know, this is only an F, so I don't feel it kind of going into more of these resonators here. I don't, you know, I, mean, I should probably take it higher, but. <laughs> um, but this exercise 
really has really helped me explore the top range. I top out at a high E. That's really, I've squeaked out an F I think once, but I top out in an E. I take this vocal exercise all the way up to E flat, um, D and sometimes E flat um, when I'm warming up my voice no matter what I'm singing. It's, it's just very good for, it's kind of like the Pilates of <laughs> my vocal training. So. That was only A flat, okay, I, I lifted too, so I thought it was an A. Sorry, sorry guys. So here's the A on the top, so I'm gonna do a little degree of opening more. between um, A flat, A, and B flat. I feel a resonance, it, I don't know how to explain this because I'm not a voice teacher, I'm not a pedagogue, but it's like there's like a her, I, I feel like a her, you know that, that, you know that sound that Renee Fleming has and it's like that amazing dummy quality that she has? I feel some sort of a switch there and so that's my safe place for A flat, A, B flat, and then it changes again on B and C and C sharp for me. That's just my voice. G is for me the annoying note because it's like it's sort of related to F sharp, it's sort of related to A flat. It's a singular note. It's a frustrating, yep. frustrating note. Um, I found like for example right now for singing Mozart, Perdona, and Vira, it's such a pivotal note because it's in Mitra D, it's like you have to have a good G or you can't do it. So um, I'm relating it more to A flat in terms of the resonance and less to F sharp. When I sing Strauss and Wagner, because I want more cut and more squillo, I relate the sensation in my body more to F sharp. Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense to you guys. That's good. Um, so we're with it. But this exercise helped me to do it. I don't know if I can. Well, oh, but well here's the question: When you when you're running it up, yeah, how do you feel that? So are you? Yeah, are, yeah, you're not artic. Are you artic? I'm not articulating the notes. There could be. The truth is, it could just be a scale. Yeah. I like the distraction of the third because I I need to just think about what my body is doing. So I'm already I'm already imagining the top. Well, I start down here. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah. I don't, that's an important I, thing. Actually. I don't make the I don't yeah. make the opening for the top until I need to. Yeah. That's the thing I see a lot of people doing is making too much opening too soon. But um, for me, uh, the degrees of opening happen more on like F sharp and then again on A flat. Mm -hmm. Just and they're and they're not very big. Yeah. You know, and the molars should be apart the whole time anyway. But I'm talking about a bit more opening in the jaw, uh, progressive. And this sort of lifting thing, this lifting thing, mm -hmm. I don't really think about that yeah. until A flat or A. So it's a contrasting kind of tension because mm -hmm. you have the jaw that goes this way. Yes. And this that, that yeah. makes you lifting up. Lifting around. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this exercise helped me to learn both stretching into the top and um, using this staccato repetition to yeah. sustain the note. And so I can just recommend that you try that. Um, it's a good one. And also too, I mean, we have our other video on, the first one was on soft high notes, and yeah. I did that one. Yeah. Uh, this is, so let's do this one. If you have other questions, because it's hard to get into everything. You well, kind of we just don't lay know what, what technical stuff you're going and through. Exactly. <laughs> so if, <laughs> if you want to know about anything further, we're happy yes. to talk to you about it or yes. whatever. Uh, these are just kind of initial you know, things that the, get the, you thinking, hopefully. Yes, and the danger yep. is I can tell you what works for me and what, or Norman can tell you what works mm -hmm. for him. Yep. And of course there will be some universality, but without getting in the room, without looking at exactly what's happening in the body, and of course yep. we're not pedagogues, yep. um, we can only take you so far and help you. 
Um, but I just say, especially for sopranos, oh, it's good for mezzos too, this is a great exercise for building that top register because it doesn't put a lot of weight in the top and that's definitely what you want to avoid when you're trying to build your top register. You do not want to take a bunch of chest up there. Um, it really helped me get the tongue out of the way um, and to find these, these resonators for the, for the top register. So I hope that that helps. Um, we are going to be creating some more videos to answer your questions. We're really enjoying this. Like I said, we're not singing teachers, so uh, we don't use language as concisely as a teacher would, yep. but um, it is our pleasure to try and help you guys work through some of these yeah. things. And, and they'll just... think about things in maybe a different way or, or that you can take to your teacher or whatever and say, hey, what, what is this? Yes, and yeah, one more yeah. thing I would say about too, you know, I just had a shift about two years ago. Mm -hmm. I was feeding the same information through my body and, and, and like I was telling my body to do stuff and it just wouldn't do it and then one day it did. Yep. And it was just the strangest thing. It was such a frustration for a good year and a half. And then two years ago, my body was like, okay, I'll do that. So that happens too. You can have all the right information. You can be telling this mechanism to do all the right stuff, but until the voice is mature, until it's, it's ready to do what you're asking it to do, it's no. kind of, it just won't, it won't go. It, it will happen in stages. Yeah. And sometimes the, the right information, the body won't execute it yet. Yeah. But one day, it will. Yeah. And so, that, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. It's frustrating when you're in it, but then when it begins to react. Yes. Then, then, it's, really then fun. it's great. So just keep so. on going. Keep on practicing. Yep. Do your scales every day. Uh, <laughs> I hope that this helped you. It's literally, a, it's a ninth. So. That's, yep. that's what it is. Yep. Um, and yeah. There you go. There you go. So make sure you subscribe to Living Opera. Living and Opera. Oh, you can subscribe oh, oh, oh. on our website, www.livingopera.org, yep. because we also write articles from that. We haven't been doing as much there because we've just literally been working too much, which yep. is not a bad thing. Um, oh, yeah. But and we're also on Instagram. So, and we sort of. I guess we're not very professional at that because there's different content on everywhere, but what? it's all good. We're gonna we're gonna consolidate. <laughs> we're trying it. we're trying to, but that's not our job. Like yeah. we're um, gonna work on it. That's all right. It doesn't matter. So anyway, so. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video and yeah. tell your friends who have questions to ask and yeah. to follow along and subscribe because this is this is about helping each other and you don't need to go through some of the stuff that we went through and that's pretty much the point of this project to do something for someone else that was not done for us when we were younger so here we go that's right all right